What's good, good Rattlers? Rattlers? I'm Oliva. And I'm Giselle. And today's Friday, February 18th. And now for some announcements. Freshmen, course selection will run February 17th through 18th. Please have your course selection with you when you report to the auxiliary gym to meet your counselor for sophomore classes. Junior, sophomore, and freshman, please remember to visit RMHS website under the counselor tab to fill out your course selection form if you did not receive one during your course presentation and read about their courses offered to you in the RMHS 2022-2023 course catalog handbook. Juniors, sophomores, and freshmen, please complete any applications for ASB, AVID, CAFE, RACE, Yearbook, PLUS, Journalism, and any other applications you need to complete by the end of this week. If you're interested in joining these academics and or programs for the 22-23 school year. Now time for the special teacher feature segment. I'm Mrs. Cassidy and I teach English 1 and Yearbook here at Rancho Mirage. What's your favorite thing to do around the school? I love going to extracurricular activities where you really get to see students doing the things they love to do outside of class, um, but that the extracurriculars are still connected to school. So out at a football game when you're seeing cheerleaders or band members or um, out at different things where you see people working for the Rattler Report, it's so nice to see students putting their work into um, things that make the school better and um, things that help the school spirit. What got you started with your club? Well, I was hired to be the yearbook advisor, so I was I learned about it on my first day in my interview. I came from journalism in my own high school, and that led me to pursue a journalism career. So I actually have a degree in broadcast journalism, and I worked for radio stations and television stations after I did my own high school journalism, so I've always felt really passionately about high school journalism and the opportunities it provides to students to learn a number of different skills that really will be helpful for them. And being a high school journalist myself um, changed my whole life, so I really wanted, I was looking for a position that allowed me the opportunity to help students find that love for journalism. Do you have a favorite class? Uh, well, I do love teaching English, but I do, of course, love yearbook. Um, I come from a journalism background, so I probably prefer the yearbook side of things, but we also read some great stories in English, so it's been a real treat to teach that this year as well. What has been your favorite book to teach to a class? Oh, Long Way Down is the book we're reading right now, and it's a very suspenseful story about a 15-year-old um, whose brother is killed, and it keeps you guessing the whole way through, and I really think about it as English candy because the author writes in such a visual and compelling way, you really feel like the characters are real. So I'm, I'm really loving teaching that book right now. And the final most interesting question of all, do you have a favorite period? Ooh, no, all of my periods are, are equally awesome. They um, all have different personalities. First period is a little quieter. Third period and fourth period can get a little bouncy. Fifth period is quiet too, but every class brings its own energy. So I don't ever think of one class as being better or worse than the others. It's about um, the personality and the, the energy that comes from a class. So even if a class can be a little bit more rambunctious, Sometimes we're able to have really good conversations and get the energy in class going in a positive way. So I actually love all my classes and I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade them for anything. Thank you, now for some sports with AJ. What's up Rattlers? It's AJ with the sports section. Last Saturday, boys baseball won their game against Yucca Valley with a score of eight to four. Then on Friday and Saturday, the boys and girls wrestling team competed in a CIF wrestling tournament with four Rattler wrestlers managing the place, and three qualifying to compete in Masters. The tournament ended with senior Kyle Tan placing in fourth, junior Jade Calabero placing sixth, senior Kion Henderson narrowly missing Masters with a respectable seventh place, and freshman Kelvin Tan becoming the youngest Rattler to ever qualify for Masters with a sixth place finish. Good job, Rattlers. Next week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, Baseball has games against West Valley. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, softball has games against Desert Hot Springs and 29 Palms, respectively. Then on Thursday, Boys and Girls Track and Field competes against 29 Palms. That's all for sports. Back to you in the studio. Thank you.
Now, let's take a look at a project from Senora Arango's Spanish 2. Hi, I'm Oliva Gutierrez with Miss Arango's sixth period with her winning project winners. Your name? Ellie. Malia. Andrew. Okay, so can you talk to me about how this project, like, what's it all about? So basically, in the world right now, there's a lot of air pollution going on due to transportation. And we talk about how using gas motor vehicles, not walking to school or walking to wherever you need to be, is contributing to the pollution in the air that will eventually probably kill us one day. And within our project, we also provide viable solutions to the topic at hand. Okay, so how is this project presented to you? So the first day she came up, like, what are some things she wanted you guys to focus on? So for us, she gave us, like, each topics, and she wanted us to focus on solutions for the change, what is really causing it, and definitely, like, who is causing it. I think that was the biggest thing she wanted us to look into mm -hmm. because... Like for ours, it's definitely the people, not the cars itself. It's mm -hmm. the people that are using like the materials. Mm -hmm. so this topic of air pollution, it's universal, right? So how is this related to Spanish? So it's related to Spanish because no matter what language you speak, Chinese, English, Japanese, whatever, um, air pollution is everywhere. And it doesn't matter what language you speak, we should all be able to contribute to make a change. Okay, so what is it? basic takeaway that you guys did after this project so what is the main idea the basic takeaway is we need to start using different modes of transportation that are more friendly to to the to our environment mm -hmm. like cars and having vehicles just for ourselves is very uh, not healthy for the environment and using better public transportation that's electric and that's hydrogen and other uh, cleaner sources of fuel will be better for the environment okay so why do you guys think that you won this project because we're the best. For okay. real? Yeah. Yeah. Can you answer that? I think we won because we put a lot of time, research into this project. And um, our, our project was really uh, attractive. Attractive. Okay. <laughs> okay. But there, I bet there was good ones too. It's like, what kind of other projects were like the runners up for you guys? Do you guys remember? Um, so we ended up w between two different projects. Uh -huh. What was the other one? The other one was Fast Fashion, I believe. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. And um, they're poster actually had a lot of like more physical drawings yeah like, theirs was definitely handmade mm -hmm. and it was it was really good they I actually did really good props to you guys yeah all the posters were definitely up there solid. okay so thank you guys for talking to me i really appreciate it that's all for now rattlers if you have any announcements please contact mr mcintosh or dm our twitter at rmhs news or don't forget to check out our youtube channel the rattler report for your future broadcast i'm Oliva, and i'm so and we're signing, signing off